Hello everybody, this is Felicia and I am doing a voiceover today because um, for some reason something happened with the um, my camera. I had a little bit more segment that I had to delete where I was talking in depth about my vitamins and things like that. So meh, anyway, so we're just going to go in here and get started. This is my routine for me getting ready to go to the gym in the mornings. I um, make sure that I brush my teeth, of course, you know, and everything like that. Um, I'm trying to get myself together so that I can get out of here to get to the gym. Now, I don't go to the gym gym per se a lot, three days a week. Um, and I only work certain parts of my body because I don't, I have a Peloton at home where I um, definitely make sure that I use on a regular basis. And so I am back to using that on a regular basis. So hopefully I can get myself back into shape here pretty soon. Um, so right there, you see me grabbing my phone, grabbing my, my Apple Watch, putting it on because I keep track of all my exercises through my ex Apple Watch, which is great because it helps me be accountable. And I have a, another a group of people that I keep accountable to. There are my vitamins that you see there. And then I also take what we call greens as well in the morning. So I do take my vitamins, vitamin B12. I drink my vitamin B12, take my ritual with some water. And then I also mix um, some orange juice and some greens. And those greens are organic with no sugar. And I mix those up and drink those as well. All right, I got everything that I need. I am, we're gonna head out the door and we're gonna get ourselves to the gym. I got my little backpack here. It's a little lightweight backpack. Um, let's see, oh, you're crooked here. Um, it's a little lightweight backpack that I have that I um, got from a marathon that I did. I got my keys, I got my car keys, got my water, there's ice in it and everything because I like, that's a whole nother story. Um, your your body properly absorbs water properly when it's ice cold, especially if you're working out. So, all right, guys, let's get to the gym. Alrighty, I am heading out to the gym, as you can see, with the magic of video. It makes it look like I just went out the door and came back, which I didn't. I came back about an hour and a half, almost two hours later, and I'm exhausted a little bit still. So I still have a little bit part of my workout to get through and that is to ride my bike because I there I don't have the cables at home and so I have to use the cables there and there you see me I am done with the ride right there and I do 30 minutes right now until a little bit later and then I'm going to be doing a little bit more but I also do some weights here and some squats and there's my breakfast of course right there as you can see I make sure that I have a good breakfast and then of course you see my coffee there and those everything that you see on my plate is fresh and it's organic and that cream is not cream cheese that is a cashew milk cheese so um now i'm going into facial care here this is part of my whole part of my health regimen so i'm going to walk you through this as well and there you see me getting myself prepared there um that is the neutrogena uh, wash that I use on my face has got hydrolonic acid in it and I love it and there is my um, ordinary there you go my ordinary and you have to use that now that is a, an astringent that brings your face and your skin back to its regular pH balance when you tone and I always use a toner after I wash my face and I rinse my hands in between each application of what I'm putting on my face and I'm letting it dry there. Now I am putting on my eye cream and I will show you that. I put that on and I use a certain finger to put that on and I think I'm gonna show it to you. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and I dab it on, I never rub it. And if I'm going to put it underneath, I pat it. If I'm gonna put it on the top, I go upwards. In other words, towards your forehead. And there is a serum that I put on as well that has hyaluronic acid, it's by Ordinary, and I put uh, a few drops of those on my face. But when I'm putting this stuff on my face, you guys, I am not rubbing it like in circles. I am actually rubbing, and I'm, I'm sped it up a little bit, but I'm actually rubbing from my nose to my ear in a, in a U-shaped motion. And then I also put some on my neck with the motions of going up towards my chin, never going down towards my chest. 
and there you see me rinse my hands off between applications now i'm putting on the ordinary moisturizer that also has hydrolonic acid in it so i use three products that have hydrolonic acid in it because it helps moisturize and retain the moisture in the skin and i only put a little bit on it and as you can see i'm going in nice little circles there and i'm going upwards on my neck and you can see that and i put some on the back of course and everything like that so that part is done and i'm rinsing my hands again now i am putting on my sunscreen now that sunscreen is for and it's translucent as you can see there and that sunscreen is pretty much for african-american skin because the sunscreens that they have on the market are no good for our skin because they leave a ashen white hue on our skin which does not it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't blend so um, I use that and that's like 45 SPF and now I'm using my roller and that is a marble roller and it's been kept in my little fridge that you see and I am going upwards never go up and down ever 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 because according to dermatologists that is not the right way to go and it does not produce anything but premature aging skin so you want to make sure you do and make sure you wash it off between use. Hi everybody, I'm so glad you were able to join me with my skincare routine. As you can see, it's very simple. I don't do a whole lot of anything. I don't even put makeup on half the time. I don't have foundation on, I don't use that. I try to keep my face as clean and clear as possible. I do wear sunscreen every single day, even if I'm not going outside that day, but you never know when you are, so it's always good to protect yourself. And I am really just overwhelmed and just excited about this product here. You can get this from Target. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it when I was doing the voiceover, but you can get this from Target. And um, it's $17, but I've had this tube for, Oh, when I use it every day so I've had this tube since about May the beginning of May and it is now mid-July so it does last a while I mean it's almost empty right now um, and this is what I use on my face now there is a different sunscreen and um, it is um, called the black girl sunscreen and this is what it looks like here and you can also get this from Target they have a 55 i think and a 30. i haven't yet got my hands on the 55 yet so but this one is spf 45 for your face which is perfect that is perfect for your face anything above 30 is perfect um so um this is the black girl sunscreen and unlike sunscreens that are made differently from this one um this does not leave a white ash on your skin at all i wear this all the time and I am really, really super, super stoked and super happy about that. So if you're ever looking for a sunscreen, a black girl sunscreen, you can use this. It works on anybody, whether they're um, African-American or not. But it, this is specifically designed for um, the help uh, to help African-Americans with the ash that comes from the regular sunscreen um, that gets into that, get, that gets onto our skin. This one disappears. Um, I, always make sure that I keep my skin clean and clear. I keep my hands out of my face all day long unless I wash them. Now the thing is bacteria is what causes a lot of the breakouts on your skin. So if you keep your hands from off of your face and out of your face throughout the day and I know it's hard a lot of times we always want to just touch our hands but think of where our hands are all the time they're on doorknobs they're on surfaces they're on all kinds of stuff we we do things with our hands and even some foods will contain some bacteria believe it or not and when you go to cook with that food and you put your hands on your face it will get on your face um so pretty much um, I just want to thank you so much for joining me this is the first time I've done a skincare if you've enjoyed this skincare video please give it a thumbs up I, I can do more th uh, more I <laughs> excuse me I can do more skincare videos I can teach you how to keep your skin smooth and soft every single day mine is all moisturized every day I, I use a specific kind of oil and lotion um, on my skin every single day and no it doesn't make you feel gross and no it doesn't do anything it just it just prevents 
premature aging of your skin. So you want to make sure that you take care of that too as well. So I showed you health wise as far as me going to the gym, um, me working out on my bike, um, having my breakfast and then skincare. So all of this is part of a whole overall skincare routine. And I think that is my phone. Yes, it is. Um, we're, I'm all done for the day and I want to thank you. Sorry about the interruption. Thank you for pretty much um, just joining me on this adventure with skin between healthcare with healthcare. So, and remember your skin is part of your health care. So, all right, guys, thank you so much and peace. See you in the next video.